Whilst he may drink champagne out of a sweaty boot and listen to music on his first-generation iPod, Daniel Ricciardo's lifestyle is larger than life. We uncover everything you want to know about Daniel Ricciardo's lifestyle, from his net worth and car collection to the cologne he wears. You'll want to stay to the end to find out which single item he has revealed he cannot live without. Daniel Ricciardo was born on July 1, 1989 in Perth, Australia, with a flair of Italian culture coming from both his parents having Italian roots. His interest in cars comes from his father's love for racing at Wanneroo Raceway. Things started to get serious for Daniel at the age of 12, when an Aussie go-karting veteran, Jan, saw his enthusiasm and work ethic and began to mentor him. His stepping stone to F1 was the WEC, where he raced as number 3 with Renault. Having grown up as a fan of NASCAR Cup Series driver Dale Earnhardt, Ricardo adopted the number 3 as his racing number in honor of him. His potential was evident as he won the British Formula 3 Championship in 2009. This caught the attention of Christian Horner, who decided to take him on in the junior Red Bull racing team. In 2011, with his career pacing up, he made his official debut in F1 for Hispania Racing at the British Grand Prix, where he competed in 11 races. He then became the first dedicated racer for Toro Rosso, Red Bull's sister team, and recorded 10 points while finishing the 18th position. From 2013 to 2016, Ricardo brought home five trophies and four awards. With his proven talent, new opportunities came his way, in the form of a switch to Renault, where in 2019 he finished ninth with 54 points. In 2020, Daniel hit his fastest laps in Belgium, and in his final race for the team in Abu Dhabi and in 2021, he joined Lando Norris in McLaren and won the Italian Grand Prix, his eighth career victory giving the team its first win. His time at McLaren did not go to plan and the two decided to split ways, with the Aussie returning to Red Bull as their third driver, behind Max Verstappen and Sergio Perez. Whilst Daniel is known for his on- and off-track antics, positive vibes and gleaming smile, he has also been active off the track where he's been active in the world of business ventures and the fashion industry. Before we get to that, let's cover his properties and hobbies. He owns an $18.6 million Beverly Hills mansion in Los Angeles, besides the fresh air and beach view. His mansion is near famous Hollywood stars including John Legend, Nicole Kidman and Jennifer Lawrence. Into the mansion, you can feel the 1960s LA vibe with luxurious five bedrooms, a master bedroom with a fireplace, cool walnut wood flooring in the kitchen, and a walk-in closet. On top, you can have a soothing, peaceful balcony view of the Pacific Ocean. You can't get enough of the iconic large pool beside a 34-acre land with signature palm trees. Alongside this, his extraneous car collection is one of his most expensive obsessions. Although he does not lock his car collection away, in fact, he's been seen eating burgers while sitting on his McLaren 675LT. Not sure what that will do to the value of the car. His garage boasts a range of cars and is valued at a whopping $3 million. It includes the cars you'd expect an F1 driver to own, like a Porsche 918 Spyder, Porsche 911 GT3 RS, McLaren 675LT, and an Aston Martin Valkyrie. But his garage also shows his playful side with the more utility Toyota Hilux and Ford F-150 Raptor. Forbes magazine ranked him 48th on their list of the highest paid athletes in the world. He currently ranks among the top 10 salaries among F1 racers. Currently, his salary is 15 million US dollars. He's a genuine looking personality in sports and can be taken as the sole bearer of connecting fans to sports by doing multiple interviews, which are not just about his game, but his sportsman spirit and lots of jokes. Seriously, you can't ignore him. Daniel has also a nickname for himself. He calls himself a honey badger, which was almost unexpected for everyone to hear and might be the reason for his popularity. Inspired by his spirit, animal attributes and traits, Daniel found it very relatable with himself. Such a smart nickname to hint to people that he's the toughest fighter. We got you, Daniel. Many of his fans do tend to ask on Quora about doing squats before racing. That's his mantra. He tends to do some movements for good blood flow before starting the first lap of the race, as he believes it's the most important and critical part. He also revealed that he didn't know how to squat for years, but now he's loving it. Daniel explains that not just supermodels, but F1 drivers have to maintain a certain diet or low weight as it can affect their lap time. 
That's an interesting note for all of you thinking getting into F1. However, Daniel is completely not struggling with that. Credit to his fast metabolism. He really has most of us moment feelings with his fans, as he affirms to be the first one to find people in music and flaunt in front of his friends. Thanks, mate. We're on the same page. Another fact Daniel just comes up to answer is that he drives slowly on normal roads and doesn't have the urge to show off his racing skills in front of his fellows. He resonates with Shakira's hit Hips Don't Lie in terms of giving us some of his major dance moves. Nonetheless, he's the world's favorite Australian. Ricardo really got a funky taste in fashion. Nevertheless, he loves wearing party t-shirts with custom color headphones and a race helmet. You could say that his fashion sense might be inspired by Harry Styles. Plus, his secret journal, being his absolute therapy to pen down his vulnerability, makes him more human and relatable. We love that. If you want to smell like Daniel, head down to the store and pick up a bottle of Bay 19 from Le Labo Fragrances. The biggest irony in his life is his luxurious car collection on one side, and on the other side, his vintage GoPro and iPod, which might be 17 years old today. No doubt, he's the biggest OG. The two most important things he can't live without are his humor and his extraneous cheetah-printed face mask. We all are curious about which face mask he has now. There's another impressive side of Daniel, knowing about different cultural languages and slang, and it's honestly the biggest green flag for his fans to appreciate him more. Ricardo has been a bit private about his personal life from the start, but now he has some rumors that are still heating up. Making an appearance in the Fitzy and Whipper podcast, he said, Love eliminates stress. Yeah, absolutely. And cherry on top, he couldn't resist confirming that he's in love and is enjoying a good work-life balance now. Until now, he is still rejecting the rumors of getting married or being committed. He stated himself as a single soul in his interviews and called out his perspective of marriage as black and white. It makes more sense that he's pretty much clear in what he's doing, but he's playing with us. He's rumored to be seen with Heidi Berger, an Australian actor and the daughter of former F1 racer Gerhard Berger. Her viral video with Ricardo saying, Look mum, I made it, gave us a little bit of a hint that something is cooking. However, we all should wait for the official announcement. Now to the business side of Daniel's life, where his luxurious lifestyle can be credited to his famous partnerships with different brands. He's currently partnered with UZ Food, Optus, Car Sales, GoPro, Blue Coast, Beats, EA Sports, St. Hugo, OKX, Save the Children, and Thorn. He also has his own merchandise, Rick 3, serving us with comfy aesthetics. He's also one of the most famous sports people to appear in different fashion magazines, including Square Mile, GQ Men, Men's Health, and many more. He has revealed his single most important possession is his helmet. That may not be surprising given that his life depends on it. His loud personality can be seen in his often multicolored helmets. Ricardo has his own strategy to connect with his fans, while being with multiple businesses and also taking a step away from his F1 racing life. In the previous month, Ricardo gave all of us a huge surprise by doing a whole comeback to the Red Bull Racing Team as the third driver for 2023. In the interview, he stated that he would be going on and off with racing, not participating in every single one. He's back on track and reliving his memories. With his upcoming videos on F1 and Red Bull Racing, he seems to be back in the limelight again. Let us know in the comments section what you guys think about this.